So I'm about to pack this particular turntable up and uh, return it to sender, which luckily they have a brick and mortar store in my in my town where I live, so I don't have to deal with packing it. I can just walk in and drop it off. Um, I'm not going to mention the retailer, but it, it is a box store. Some of you can probably guess. This particular model was ordered. Um, it was a, a daily deal that I could not pass up. I had already ordered another turntable and was waiting for it, but uh, the day that I ordered this one uh, was the day that the other turntable I ordered was supposed to show up on my door step. Um, it never made it. Um, tracking kept saying that it's at my local UPS facility, but never made it onto the truck. Um, an investigation was opened and I ended up getting a refund from the retailer. So one benefit of buying from a big box store, I guess there's a c couple of benefits. Uh, one being that you can just drive it back and return it. No problems. Um, the other one being that when an error comes up that is beyond your control, like a lost delivery of some sort, well, a larger box store is a lot more capable of just giving you a refund rather than waiting three weeks while the retailer and the uh, uh, carrier or shipper, deliverer, whatever you want to call it, uh, sorts out who's going to pay who. So. This is the uh, Project um, Essentials 3. Uh, this is the Beatles uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band edition that I think is an additional $50, but it does include the acrylic platter. Um, I liked it. Uh, I am coming from a Audio-Technica uh, LP120 or ATLP120 USB if you want to be technical about it or audio technical. Yes, I'm very punny. Um, while I liked the unit just fine, it seemed like I was trying to enjoy somewhat audiophile quality on a DJ's turntable. Um, now I know a lot of that can be handled with stylus, but I'm trying to get something just basics. And this is about, almost about as stripped down as you can get when it comes to you know, it's just the vinyl or the record, the stylus, the tone arm, the quality of the the outputs, all that stuff. You know, the the power box, um, everything simple. Um, the design is 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 very simplistic. They put the the motor over here, which is where the power connects on the back. Uh, this is the power. It's a wall wart. There's your connector. Pardon my hands. I'm not a hand model. I was painting today. I'm a painter. Um, I, don't, I own a painting company and yes, I, I have to get down there and do all the work. So anyway, um, so the power module, the, the motor is here. Um, as is the where this connects, so all your power is kept over here, and the theory behind that is to keep it as far away from the where all the sound is going, which goes out that same direction. Uh, the this cable here comes from over here, so and I, I do like I do think that this is decent quality cables. They are fixed. Um, to my knowledge, they don't unplug from the back. Uh, it has a ground and of course a right and a left RCA. Uh, cable fault quality does feel good though. Um, this is, feels like really nice braided cable. Um, I do like to give you a little something to help you with wire management. Um, so like I said, the idea is to keep the power as far away from the, the sound as, you know, possible. Um, the platter is on its own little thing. Um, I'll go ahead and try to break it down for you. Um, not if I, I wish this Beatles wasn't here. I, I like the Beatles. I'm not a huge fan. I do like their work. Um, but I don't 
walk around wearing um, Abbey Road t-shirts. Um, the cover is nice. Um, I have had it all the way up. Was listening to a song and it fell on, on me like all the way down which made the record jump or, or the stylus jump uh, come on. Excuse me. Um, and I'm not sure what caused it. Uh, we'll just say it was a ghost. Could be a hinge design. Not sure. The lid is acrylic from what I can tell or some kind of a plastic and, and from what I can this is not a high-end turntable. This, I think, is around 300. Uh, with the Beatles, maybe 350, maybe 400. Um, but this has a lot of swirl marks and... S s I won't say scuffs, but let's see if we can find any. You can probably see them in the light. Look at the light. And that swirls. And while it came in a pretty nice little bag as far as packaged, um, it was packaged individually in a, a nice little bag, real, real good protection on it in the box, I kind of think that's crap. Um, I think even even those of us who only spend three, four hundred dollars on, on an item like this should still get the same quality and respect as those who spend more. So anyway, um, this is getting long, so I'm gonna to try to kind of bust through this real quick. Um, there we are. You can leave this off if you'd like. It just goes on real easy, comes off real easy. The included felt pad is very thin, very, very, very thin. Um, you may not need more than that with uh, with the the, the uh, acrylic platter. Um, I am not a fan of the exposed belt. I've learned when I go to take vinyl off. I'll just go ahead and do it so that you can see. When I, I tend to grab here and roll up and look what happens. And that is a little bit of a pain in the butt to get back on. It, it's not real difficult, but you're touching it. I'm not gonna get up, go grab gloves, put them on, so I don't get oils on my belt. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to install. So that's gotta come off anyway so I can put it back in the box. Here's the acrylic platter. The spindle is, is affixed to the platter. You can see where it's rubbed itself. I didn't do that. That's on the bottom, and that's from hitting the graphic, I guess. Um, but to give you an idea, it's got this sticks out pretty good. Like you could probably put a cork and a felt pad, uh, cover pad, whatever you want to call it, on here, and still play some 180 gram vinyl and still get your. Um, record clamp on there so there's plenty of sp sp spindle to go around but um, I, the tone art it was easy to uh, set up the most difficult thing was the anti-skate counterweight here it can be a little bit cumbersome um, for those of us with big concrete hands um, I do have a a, um, a, uh, a weight scale to measure downforce, they're only thirteen dollars on Amazon. Jesus Christ, to go buy you one, quit being a cheap ass. Um, so it was easy to adjust the counterweight. Uh, very simple. I did have to adjust the stylus position. Um, they do include a card. It's probably right here, top of the box. Yeah, they include this card right here, which makes. Um, Alignment for of your cartridge very very easy. Um, these are Allen head or hex key. I was able to use a Torx. Go ahead and tell you which one it is. Let's see. I had two of them. It's this one here, and it worked wonderful for it. Uh, I use this when I had to change out the hard drive in my Mac. It's a it's a T eight S dash fifty. So if that tells you anything. I don't know if you can see it. So um, that's what size it is. Works wonderful for that. Easy to easy to shift, all that. So it, it did not come up. I have seen lots of videos on these, and they all said, "Oh, it came up, came uh, right out of the box. It was it was aligned." Well, mine was not. Um, not a big deal. Like I kind of enjoy, you know, the fact that I I had to do that because it it's just fun. I, mean, I bought this for that, you know, because I enjoy this stuff. So. 
Um, one thing I guess I didn't like about it, there are three feet, okay? There's, there's two feet right here in the front, and there's one in the middle in the back. So it rocks. See that? It can rock. Um, which, I mean, you're generally not doing that. Uh, you know, that should be somewhere where you're not partying around. But sometimes I have, you know, uh, a record playing. I want to go ahead and dust my entertainment center down a little bit, which I seem to do daily. But, uh, and, and sometimes you'll bump it. Now, I won't do it while there's vinyl on it. But, you know, that, that's kind of, there should be a foot there and a foot there. Um, you know, work it out. Uh, they have the room. I don't, I don't know why they didn't do that. Uh, now, while I was getting this particular video set up, and if you'll pardon my room, um, that just came. I actually had to uh, intercept that at the door. That's the one that I actually order, ordered, the debut carbon, that's free SB. This is the Beatles version. It was heavily discounted because of the Beatles graphic. Once again, not a huge fan of the Beatles, don't really care. I mean, I do like their music. Um, I don't need to display their their designs and their artwork, but you know what? If if you're gonna knock two to three hundred dollars off of a uh, turntable because it has the word of Beatles on it, I'm gonna take advantage of that. I don't sit here and look at my tur turntables while they're being used. I listen to them. So back to this one. Uh, I'll end it on a qu quick note. Uh, this one here played great, tracked. Great. No, I didn't hear any inner, um, inner track or sorry, yeah, uh, inner track distortion, whatever you call it. Um, the included stylus on this model, I think, is an OM10. Yes, it is. It's an Ortofon OM10. I've got the cover back on it. Um, because it is going back. I have to break this thing down and put it back in the box. So, uh, it, 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 I'm going through an Akio, uh, 810. I don't know all, all the exact uh, model numbers. Um, it's a it's a pretty. I just bought it. It's a very tall Ankyo um, home theater, but I use uh, pure direct mode for a pair of Polk monitor 70 series twos. Uh, excuse me, tower speakers, and it, it sounds good to me. I'm I don't I'm not trying to get you know audio file here. I don't. Um, I'm 47 years old and I played in, in live bands, um, uh, off and on for the last 20, 25 years. So my, uh, quality of, uh, hearing probably is not going to be able to fully enjoy the, um, the offerings of a $5,000 or a Macintosh amplifier or a preamplifier. So... At least that's what I keep telling myself, because I don't have $5,000 for that Macintosh. Anyway, oh, I had some for that Macintosh, but that's, that's a different Macintosh. So anyway, um, I, I hope this guided you. Um, I found this for 200 bucks, and at 200 bucks, it's a steal. I would much prefer this over a $300 Audio Technica, just because it's a turntable. That's all it does. It doesn't have speed adjustments, but I primarily listen to 33 and thirds or 12 inch. Um, I don't, I, I hardly ever want to get out my 45s. Now I do have some 12 inchers that are 45s. Um, Chainsmokers has an EP that's a 45. I didn't know that when I first got it. And I was like, is this like a Michael 5,000 Watts remix? Anyway. Uh, cause it felt, it sounded like it was chopped and screwed if, if y'all know what that means. So, um, anyway, at, at 200 bucks, this is a excellent machine. The, I, from what I understand, the regular essentials three does not come with the acrylic platter. I cannot tell you whether or not the acrylic platter makes a difference in tonal quality. I'm guessing probably not, uh, especially not with an OM 10. Um, now if you were, you know, rocking, a you know, a, a blue, blue, blue pearl, I think they call it. I'm not sure. Um, if you're rocking a five, six hundred dollars stylus, you might notice the platter. And then if you're going through a Macintosh um, preamp amp section um, into some 
you know, pretty, pretty high end speakers, uh, you may notice the platter. Um, I, th I think it's a gimmick. This one's got it. This one that I have over here has that same platter, but, uh, it also has this speed box, but for 200, but even 250, this, this thing and any other color is a steal. Um, and, and don't, you know, hesitate if that's your budget, this is a great machine. I would pick this over the Denon or any Sony or, or lower end pioneer, uh, any audio technica. Um, that's all I can think of in this particular price range. I think this project essentials three is a, is a great model for the money. Uh, it does not have the carbon fiber t t tone arm like the debut carbon, uh, Esprit SB or the debut carbon does. Um, but anyway, uh, trying to think of anything else. The, with this particular model, the, the Beatles graphic, the Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club band that you see through the acrylic platter is kind of, um, it's, it's wasted. Uh, cause you put a record on top of it. You're not going to put your vinyl directly onto that, onto that platter. You, you're going to use cork or a mat, you know, something of that sort. So, I mean, I don't even know why they bother putting that there, but um, I did learn this out of this. Uh, I do like simplicity over having all the buttons and the quartz, uh, you know, jog uh, or um, uh, sliders and faders for, for speed adjustments and quartz locks and all that other crap. I don't like exposed belts. I'm a big clumsy individual and I must have put this thing on 10 times at in the last week, uh, the wife, the first thing she did was knocked off the belt. I, I wanted her to change out. Hey, honey, why don't you I'll flip this record for me? I wanted her to learn how to use it. First thing she did, knocked a belt off. The next thing she did, she knocked the anti-skate weight behind the entertainment center. That was a fun day. She didn't know it was there. So, yeah. Um, don't get one of these for your kids. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll just end it, uh, on this, uh, which is by the way, the power is over here. You turn it on and it starts spinning up as simple as that. And it, it, it spins up about as fast as you can turn it on, reach over and put it over and drop it. It's going full speed. It's, it's pretty quick. I have not tried 45 speed. I did not want to stretch out my belt. That was another thing I didn't like was that. I would have to move this this from the top pulley to the bottom pulley in order to use 45 mode. I didn't want to wear out my belt since you only get one with with the turntable. The, this other one that I ordered here that's in a box has a speed box. You press a button, it goes to 45. You press a button, it goes back to 33 and a third. So I think I, I'm thinking I'm gonna like that model more. Um, I do love this blue color, everybody, that I've shown it loves the graphic.